everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Gina Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make fresh guacamole and homemade corn tortilla chips. This recipe is delicious. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make it Gina Young style. It's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my homemade guacamole before and fresh corn tip, chips tortillas. Spit it out, Gina. You better make you some. <laughs> Here are the lovely ingredients you're going to need. The first thing you will need is you will need some really ripe avocados, okay? And I'll talk about how you can find out if your avocados are nice and ripe. So you're gonna need avocados. You will need some yellow corn tortillas. Here's what they look like. You're also gonna need some nice fresh veggies. So right here we have some limes. If you can't find limes, it's okay to use lemon juice. You will need some fresh garlic and you're gonna need some jalapenos. So now what you'll notice is these are serranos. I wasn't able to find jalapenos, so these serranos are gonna do the trick. You will need a onion. I'm gonna use fresh sweet Vidalia onion and these vine on tomatoes. And of course, you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You will need some salt and pepper. And right here in this pan, this is just a little bit of vegetable oil. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited for this recipe. Let me know in the comments section below if you all have ever tasted homemade guacamole and homemade corn tortilla chips. I got it right that time. Okay, so here's how we're gonna make. First thing that I wanna do, let's make our cor corn tortilla chips and get that out the way. It's, it's like a tongue twister to me. I'll get it right sometime during this video. Okay, so let's get these open just like so. And I have the vegetable oil heating up to 350 degrees. Now we're gonna take about five of these corn tortilla chips. Let's see how many we have. There's five. <clears throat> Let me make sure. <laughs> okay, so we have five. What we're going to do is we need to cut them. And here's how we're gonna cut them. Just like this, I'll use this knife. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. All right. If you find it a little difficult to cut through, then just cut through a couple at a time. Maybe cut through two at a time, but it's not that difficult. Okay, so now that we've cut this way, we're gonna go in, turn it around, and we're gonna cut this way as well just like so. Pretty simple, right? And if you want them a little bit smaller, you can do this. Okay, I think I will do just that. Okay, just like so, pretty simple. That's because everything that Gina Young shares with you all, it's gonna be simple, it's gonna be delicious and very easy. Simple and easy is kind of the same thing, but let's roll with that. <laughs> the cat's got my tongue today. Okay, so now we have some nice hot oil here. I wanna make sure that it's hot, so I'm gonna put one of my tortillas in, and you wanna hear and see that sizzle. If you don't hear and see that sizzle, we'll wait a few minutes until it gets a little bit hotter, and then we'll throw them all in, just like so. Okay, everyone, so now let's fry up these corn tortillas. Take a look down at what I've done. I'm indecisive. So I cut these and I like the way these look. I wanna do these, we'll set up for these ones. <laughs> I'm all over the place today, but hey, we'll work it out. Nice hot oil, don't put them in until your oil is nice and hot. And honestly, don't overcrowd them either, okay? All right, you can do several batches if you need to. And these literally are gonna cook so fast. It does not take them long to cook. Once you start to see a beautiful golden brown color, on the edges, they're done. And they might feel a little soft in the pan, but as soon as they hit the outside of the pan, they harden up right away. Okay, everyone, take a look down at the tortillas. They only took like two minutes. They are done, they feel nice and hard. We have that beautiful golden brown color that I was speaking of. 
on the outside. Now it's time to take them out, they're beautiful. But one thing you want to do when you take these out is you wanna salt them right away. If you're that person that wants to do something like a cinnamon and sugar, put them on right away while they're still nice and hot. That way um, your spices can adhere to the tortilla chip. Now I have a few more. Okay, so let's get these in. Just like so, it's just gonna take, like I said, a minute and a half, two minutes, and then we'll get started on our guac. Beautiful. So now that we have our corn chips onto our cooling rack and our baking sheet, now it's time to salt them. Just like so, while they're nice and hot, get that salt on there and it's gonna stick just like so. When our next batch gets done, we'll start on our guac. Okay, everyone, now that all of our chips are done, let us let me show you how easy it is to open the guacamole. Some people get a little bit confused, but it's really easy. So we're gonna take a sharp knife, just like so, and you see how we're kinda, we're not going straight down the middle. It's kinda offset a little bit. And we're just gonna go around because in the inside, there's a pit in the inside, okay? So once we reach the part where we've already cut, we're just going to take it just like this. Voila. All right. And then we have the pit here. If your avocado is nice and ripe enough, you can squeeze the pit out. Okay. Just like that. Or you can take your knife and kind of whack it, you know, and the, the pit will come out on, and be stuck to your knife. So let's do this. <clears throat> We're gonna squeeze it out, or you can take a spoon and get it out. But you see that? I like to squeeze mine. It comes out really simple, okay? Just like so. Oh, and I, and I told you all, I was gonna let you know because a lot of people don't really know how to tell if their avocado is nice and ripe. Well, what you're gonna do is you can push your finger in, and if it keeps somewhat of an indent, that's what you're looking for. Now, when I purchased these, these were rock hard. But three days on a counter, hey, they're perfect to, to use now. So one more time with the knife, let me show you. Little offset, not straight down the middle. We're just gonna do this. Pretty simple, right? Give it a nice turn. Take this out. Squeeze the filling out just like so. I'm gonna do the others off camera. When I come back, we'll cut all our veggies and we're gonna make some amazing guacamole Jeannie Young stuff. Okay, everyone, so now that we have all of the avocados opened and in the bowl, you wanna use some type of citrus to prevent them from oxidizing. And oxidizing means they're gonna turn brown just simply because the inside hit the air. So we're gonna take a little bit of lime juice and like I said, I've always, um, you can make it with lemon juice as well. Today we're going to use some lime juice. We're going to really squeeze it in there, okay? Just like so. And we're only going to use a half of a lime, and I'm going to use my fingers to get out most of that lime juice. Now later we're going to go in and re-season with more lime juice after we get all our veggies in. Just like this. So now we're going to chop up this beautiful tomato. Now some people like to take the seeds out. I'm not gonna do that today. Because when I make guacamole, it never gets watery. Some people like to say, well, if you don't take the seeds out, it's gonna get watery. I don't have that issue because I don't use a lot of tomatoes. Okay, maybe that's the reason. All right, so I just wanna be able to see that beautiful color of the tomato going all throughout the guacamole and be able to taste a little bit of tomato in every bite. So this right here is gonna do the trick, just this one tomato. Okay, everyone, so we have our avocado, our lime juice. Let's get this one tomato chopped, just like so, into the bowl. And then we're gonna chop up, which you will be using jalapenos if you can find them. But if you can't find them like I couldn't, then you're gonna use serrano peppers and they're delicious, okay? So now, before we chop up the serranos, let's go ahead and give this garlic a nice chop, all right? By doing this, it helps to release the skin. And I don't like to use a whole lot 
of garlic and my guacamole. Just a little bit will do the trick. A little bit of garlic goes a long way in guacamole. And you wanna make sure that you chop it up really fine because no one wants to bite down into a huge piece of garlic in their guacamole. Okay, everyone, so we have the garlic nice and minced up. All right, and don't go out and choose the largest piece of garlic. You only need, like I said, I can't stress it enough, you only need a little tiny piece. I'm gonna put some gloves on really quickly. We're gonna slice down into these serranos. Great flavor, and if you take the uh, white vein out in the seeds, it lessens the heat. But if you leave the seeds in the white vein in, it's gonna be hot, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. You can see that I put some gloves on. We're gonna chop the bottom just like so. And I'm not gonna use too much because I don't really like a whole lot of heat, all right? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in. You can use a spoon to do this part if you want. We wanna take that white vein, like I said, take it out. Take those seeds out. And the portion that we're gonna use is just this half right here. That's all we're gonna need for this guacamole. All right, so let's push this aside. And we're gonna chop this up very fine. Make sure you don't have huge pieces, okay? All right, so there we go. We're gonna make somewhat little matchsticks, and then we'll go in and chop her up. Just like this. Turn it, give it a nice chop. Pretty simple. Oh yeah, it smells nice, beautiful, nice fresh serrano. Okay everyone, here in we're gonna go with our serrano, or in your case, the jalapeno, if you can find it, just like so. And then I wanna chop up our last ingredient, which is the onion. Now, some people like to use red onion. Red onion, to me, it's so strong. I don't wanna use the red onion. But if you wanna make it nice and beautiful and you don't mind the strong red onion flavor, then that's what you're gonna use, okay? So now, I'm not gonna use a whole lot. This right here is gonna do the trick for me. Not a lot of onion for us here at the Young's house in our guacamole. All right, so we're gonna chop that up. I'm gonna push this aside. Let's chop it up. Get my other knife. In we go. I don't want huge pieces once again. I don't want to bite down into a huge raw piece of this onion. This is a nice sweet onion. It's going to give great flavor. Oh yeah. Just like so. And I tell you what, those corn chips right next to me, they smell absolutely amazing. Let's talk about them really quickly. Now, if you ever wondered how you can make the lime flavored um, corn tortilla chips, all you would need to do is take some lime juice and put it in a squeeze bottle. And when you salt the chips, you're going to pour your lime juice in a squeeze bottle and gently spray that lime juice all over your chips and you're gonna have lime flavored chips that are out of sight. Okay, everyone, so my eyes are watering from the onions, but we're gonna try to move on. Now it's time to mash up our guacamole, okay? Just like so, listen here, it's so simple. And you know, you don't need a masher, you can use a knife. As long as your avocado is nice and ripe, you shouldn't have any issues. Oh, look at this, my goodness. But there's one main ingredient that is so special and that's gonna really make this pop, which is salt. You wanna be able to put that correct amount of salt in here to make delicious guacamole. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, everyone, I want you all to let me know if you all were screaming at the screen saying, Gina, where is the cilantro? The cilantro is right here. I almost forgot, but my God was not gonna let me forget the cilantro in this beautiful recipe. So I've washed off my cilantro and I pat it dry with a paper towel. You're gonna take some, make sure you wash it off because cilantro can have mud and sand in it. You're gonna kinda roll it up just a little bit. And then we're gonna go in. Let's see if I have any big stems. 
like that. You're just gonna pull it out the way, okay? You're gonna roll it up just like so. Get it nice and chopped. This is definitely a must in your guacamole. All right, not too much because it can be overwhelming, but you need it. That right there is gonna do the trick. Oh, and it smells so good. I like to chop mine up nice and fine. When I come back, we're gonna mix this beautiful guacamole up. And we're gonna go with this cilantro, and you can see just how nice and fine I've chopped it up, just like so. Beautiful, I, get, I start to whisper when I get excited. All right, get all that goodness down in there. We're gonna mix it, we're gonna put more lime juice, and then we're gonna salt it, okay? But when you salt it, you want to taste it. You're gonna salt it, taste it, salt it, taste it, and you keep on tasting it until you're happy with the flavor. Because otherwise, you won't know. You wanna know what you're feeding to your family and friends and loved ones. All right, so now that the cilantro is all in, we're gonna squeeze in some more of that beautiful lime juice. Oh, look at that. This is another half going in. Get all that goodness in there. And now we're gonna do our first salting. This is sea salt. Use whatever kind of salt that you love. Then we're gonna taste. I'm gonna need a couple of spoons. All right, oh, it's beautiful color here. I'm going in. I couldn't be more excited. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm. that's good. But it needs more salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tasty. Mm. It needs a little bit more lime juice. I may have called this lemon juice, but hey, it's okay. You all know what it is. All right, let me grab a different fork. Just like so, and now we need to taste to see if we're happy. If you're not happy, keep seasoning. Go on in. Mm, mm. That's it. Listen here, everybody. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer, and you all are gonna get that first bite. Mm, that's Take a look at it, everybody. Homemade guacamole and homemade corn tortilla chips, Gina Young style, make you some. Listen here, everybody, if you all enjoy this hair video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for another beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you for this beautiful meal. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's taste this. My battery is getting ready to die. Let's dive in. I can't wait. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I'm going in. First, I want you to see Take a look at this gorgeous chip. Simply beautiful. And we're gonna take it, we're going right, oh. <laughs> going right in at the top. Take a bite and let me know what you think. Gina Young style. I'm going in. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Have some warm queso dip. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And as always, thank you all for watching. God bless. Mm. Good night. Mm, that's good.